Let us pray. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. We beseech you, God, in the words of the ancients, to once again deliver your people in unexpected and surprising ways. Expand our awareness to see your spirit at work through the humble heroes around us. We give thanks for the dedication and service of so many at this time, from our hospitals and nursing homes, to our food suppliers, and those who continue to support the infrastructure that allows us to carry on living in these times. We ask for compassion and spiritual healing to be poured out upon all who are suffering. May their experience of your love and presence come through the gentle hands that tend to them. We pray for those who are lonely or grieving whether the loss of a loved one or the loss of routine and normal life. Help us to continue to reach and connect with one another, to offer support and compassion to those who are vulnerable and struggling. And help us to remain grateful for the many blessings we experience each day. May this challenging time be a time of transformation, a time of shifting and widening our perspectives, a time of reevaluating our priorities, and a time to discover creative new ways to love and serve one another. With hope and with faith, we uplift our prayers to you in words that echo through the ages across time and generations as Christians who have faced trials and tribulations throughout the past continue to faithfully pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As I said last week, our church service still needs to have an offering. And so again, I invite you to look at your hands this week and think about the ways that you have offered through your hands over the past week. How have your hands shown love or service to someone else? How have they reached out in comfort, in compassion, in kindness? May all that we offer and all that we do with our hands be another way of offering to God and bringing about God's loving kingdom. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. I would like to invite everybody to watch their uh, email for a special service that will be coming out on Good Friday for everybody to watch together again. And I'd like to close with this benediction which is a prayer written by Laura Kelly Fanucci. And you may have seen this. I know it's been circulating quite a bit online and the words are, are just a lovely blessing to us all. It's called, When This Is Over. When this is over, may we never again take for granted a handshake with a stranger, full shelves at the store, conversations with neighbors, a crowded theater, Friday night out, the taste of communion, a routine checkup, the school rush each morning, coffee with a friend, the stadium roaring, each deep breath, a boring Tuesday, life itself. 
When this ends, may we find that we have become more like the people we wanted to be, we were called to be, we hoped to be. And may we stay that way, better for each other because of the worst. Go forth into this holy week, knowing that you are not alone. And go forth inspired by God's Spirit and by the light of Christ to continue in new ways to love and to serve one another. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Amen.